asteroids. No, not these kinds. Although it is a fair question that since there have been several space probes flying to the outer solar system through the main asteroid belt, how did they get through? The answer is real asteroids are nowhere near as closely spaced as Hollywood movies would have you think. In the main asteroid belt, even the largest asteroid is only a few hundred kilometers across, and every other asteroid is a lot smaller. The total mass of the asteroid belt is less than that of our moon. Hence, the likelihood of even seeing one asteroid from the surface of the other is diminishingly small. The main asteroid belt is the collection of minor planets orbiting our Sun in the orbital space between Mars and Jupiter. They are leftovers from the formation of our solar system, many of them within the frost line and hence quite rocky. Although some of them do orbit outside the frost line and their densities reveal that they might have substantial amount of ice buried underneath the surface. There are other populations of asteroids. The most important one for Earth are the near-Earth objects or NEOs. We are also aware of asteroids with highly eccentric orbits that are more reminiscent of comets that may just have had all their surface ice already evaporated off. Asteroids are called minor planets because they only meet the first part of the definition of a planet. They orbit the Sun. Except for the asteroid Ceres, None of them are big enough to have achieved hydrostatic equilibrium due to their own gravity, and they are most certainly not massive enough 
to have had cleared their orbit.